Welcome to Tide Talks and a big thank you to our sponsors, Wachovia Foundation. And we're here with Jim Toomey, and if you could take a moment to introduce yourself, that would be great. Sure. My name is Jim Toomey. I draw a syndicated comic strip called Sherman's Lagoon. It's, uh, it appears in a couple hundred papers, and it um, it's features a great white shark named Sherman, uh, his sidekick Filmer, who's a green sea turtle. There's a hermit crab named Hawthorne, a fish named Ernest, and uh, a couple other critters. Fabulous. And can you explain how you came up with the idea for Sherman's Lagoon? Well, when I was a kid, I was really fascinated with sharks, kind of the same way that kids nowadays are fascinated with dinosaurs. I just loved sharks, especially great white sharks, um, and undersea life in general. So when I was a, you know, maybe nine or ten, I started drawing this shark character, and he gradually evolved into a comic strip. Excellent. And sharks, do you think that they actually need our help? I mean, we have an idea of them as being these ferocious predators, but what would you like people to know about sharks in general? Sure. Well, you know, there's a lot of mythology about sharks. It goes back thousands of years. And uh, the reality is that sharks are, uh, they're what scientists call an apex predator, um, just like lions and tigers and bears. And uh, they're a very important part of our ecosystem. Um, they, uh, they, you know, eat animals that um, otherwise would overpopulate, for instance. Um, and so it's important that we we care about sharks, but we also care enough to support legislation that will, uh, will protect sharks. And there's a particular piece of legislation on Capitol Hill right now called the Shark, shark Protection Act, which is very important. And uh, it, it's, get, it's getting ignored partly because I think uh, the, the general feeling in, in the government circles is that, or on Capitol Hill, is that sharks are really not cared about in, in the public. So. Uh, I think it's important to just be aware that sharks are dangerous, just like wild dogs or, or raccoons or whatever else, but they're not this horrible monster that people think they are. Excellent. Is there anything else you would like people to know about the environment or about conservation in general as a take-home message from Sherman's Lagoon? Well, I try not to be too uh, overbearing with the environmental message in Sherman's Lagoon, but um, I would like people to be aware that um, a lot of what we do here on dry land affects the ocean. Um, and we can learn a little bit about that, not only in my comic strip, but by coming to places like the Florida Aquarium, where um, we can see kind of the, the, the byproduct of some of the things we do. For instance, throwing trash um, in the gutter will eventually float into the ocean, things like that. Marine debris is a big problem. Um, runoff is a big problem, things like that. So. Um, just, I guess, concisely that the things we do up here on dry land uh, can affect the ocean. Excellent. Well, we thank you so much for being here. We support your comic in, in ways that I can't even begin to tell you, and I really appreciate your support, not only of our environment, but also the students and the teachers out there that are learning from Sherman's Lagoon and having a great time with it. So, appreciate it. Thanks, thank Debbie. You. You're welcome.